Hello, and welcome to this special edition of Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we've accepted a challenge from Devil's Details Diecast to build a custom tow truck. Now, I had some ideas and I had some other tow truck bases, but I says, you know, if we're going to do this, let's actually make a custom tow truck. So what I decided to use was this jerry-rigged Nova Gasser, and I found a tow package from another Hot Wheels car, and we're going to cut it down, and we're going to make a custom tow truck. This ought to be interesting because I don't know where I'm going with it, but we're going to have some fun anyways. So stick around. So we have the jerry-rigged gasser and we've got this tow truck off to the side here that I found and this is where we got the base of the tow truck from. We're going to cut the back end off the gasser and we're going to take the tow truck package out of there to include the little handles in the back too, the little operator's handles. So we're going to do the best we can to make this look like a real tow truck but give it a little snap to it and make it look really cool. Well, let's get started tearing it down, all right? Here we've got the Jerry Rig Gasser. I've used a piece of tape here, the painter's tape, to make a nice straight edge, and I've lined it up with the door pillars in the back. Now I'm going to use this jeweler's saw, and I'm going to slowly cut through the roof, and then I'm going to use some snips and snip the posts off the roof, and then we're going to file those down and make them nice and smooth. And then we'll throw it in the paint stripper. Alright, we've got the back end of the gasser all cut off. It's actually got a pretty nice stance to it. And here's the little tow truck base. We're just going to have to drill a hole in the bottom there on the interior to get the base to fit and to stand up nice. So far this is looking pretty decent. Alright. Well, let's get drilling and get moving. Here we're going to cut out the roll bar and some of the excess plastic that we don't really need. Just make sure you know what you're cutting and what you're taking out. Because once it's cut, that's it. Once I've cut away that excess plastic, I'm going to use a Dremel and I'm going to smooth out the inside just to get rid of the extra raised edges. Now we need to cut a panel for the back. I had thought about cutting a window hole in the back there also, but once I started doing that, it actually weakened the structure. So I wanted that rigidity in there when I was putting in that panel, so I decided to opt out of putting a window in there. Just a little trial and error, cut away, snip away, file away, and get it till you like it and that it fits. Just using some polystyrene here and cutting that out. I probably cut this panel maybe two or three times because I just didn't like where it was going and it was just flopping around in there and not fitting a little bit snug. But that's part of this fun is to, to get it the way you want it and to uh, make it look good. This one here I wound up throwing away and cutting another one. Now this one here was a little bit better. Here is where I drilled out the hole in the back to put the tow truck base. And now we're spray painting the car and we're going to use a fluorescent green, this uh, opaque enamel that I got from the Redline shop. Besides the Spectre Flame paints, the re opaque enamels are actually really decent too. You should give them a try. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell to be alerted to any future videos that come out. Make sure you put down a tack coat, a nice light coat, two or three times a little bit to build it up eventually, or gradually, excuse me, and then you will uh, have a nice base in order to put that last saturation coat to make it look nice and glossy. Once you have your first tack coat on, let it sit for about five minutes or so and let it dry up a little bit and then put a few more light coats on and then you can put your saturation coat on.
once you get enough coats of this fluorescent green on there it's gonna look really really good and you know I figure what the heck it's a safety vehicle let's go ahead and make it really obnoxious so it could be seen in traffic if it was real now we've got the first few coats on we're gonna continue on and we're gonna put some heavier coats on to get it a nice glossy base try and spray your hard to get areas first this makes it a little bit easier for you later on and then continually move the vehicle as you spray you don't want to build up too much paint you want just enough to make it look glossy but you don't want too much to where it starts to run on you and then you'll wind up having to strip the entire paint job and do it again oh and by the way the little plastic uh, panel that we put there in the back if you have painted your car and you've made a mistake and you need to strip the paint off again please be aware that that paint stripper will definitely melt that plastic tab that you put in there so be careful with what you do you're if you make a mistake you're liable to wind up having to do the entire thing all over again trust me on this one okay it will melt the plastic this is starting to look really nice we got all the areas covered there looking really really glossy yeah I'm pretty happy with this this is looking real sweet here we've got the Nova gasser base we're gonna do a wheel swap just snip one of those little tabs in the top there and it will fall the wheels will just fall right out now these wheels that I'm switching with, I happen to get those out of a Fast and Furious Camaro that I picked up at Walmart for like six bucks or something like that. Sets of wheels are expensive. Now there are other people out there that you can get them from. Keith at Outlaw Speed Shop has a web page where he sells the wheels that uh, are provided by a company called Treads164. Go to Keith's website, Outlaw Speed Shop, and he has these wheels for sale and he's got them for a very reasonable price so please check it out that's looking pretty good let's get them glued in here I'm using my little vise and supporting the base and enough room so I can work with the wheels without it interfering with anything glue them in place Here I took some testers paints and decided to detail up the engine and the interior a little bit. Painted the velocity stacks with a little red top. Since it's a Chevy engine, I went with the orange valve covers and decided to paint the exhaust pipes white. Of course, that's only up to your imagination. Whatever color you want to paint them, that's fine. Just uh, use a small paintbrush and get you some testers paints from Hobby Lobby or any other craft store you can Walmart if they sell it now we're gonna put on the decals here I was doing some searching on the internet and came across a logo decided to incorporate it we've got camel towing yes camel towing because why not I like the logo I thought it was funny and I thought the catchphrase was a little bit funny too that looks pretty cool I like that here's what we started with we started with this Nova gasser and we took the tail boom off of another Hot Wheels tow truck and that's what it is all about here with these custom builds guys it's only up to your imagination sometimes you take two or three cars uh, Jamie at Devil's Details Diecast, he does these Gasland projects or these post-apocalyptic things like from Mad Max movies and like that. So does Keith at Outlaw Speed Shop and there's a couple other folks that do it too. I haven't tried any of those yet, but hey, I've got a pretty demented mind. I think I can definitely come up with something wild. But this Nova Gasser, they're uh, very readily available at places like Dollar General and Walmart and like that. 
And this is what we got to this Nova Gasser tow truck of Camel Towing. The detailed engine looks really cool. I'm very happy with that. The nice bright color, the custom decals, and the tow truck boom in the back looks pretty cool. I was really happy with this and the way it turned out and everything. And uh, it's a lot of fun, guys. Just uh, follow along with these videos. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. If you're one of my subscribers and you haven't uh, subscribed to Jamie's uh, Devil's Details Diecast page, please do. I'm sure that uh, Brian out there at Diecast Outcast would definitely like you to subscribe to his page and any of the other builders that are participating. In the comment section on the opening of the video, there will be some links to some of these other guys' pages. Please go and see what kind of tow truck they came up with. This ought to be pretty interesting. They just gave us some uh, ideas and said, here you go, build a custom tow truck and have the video ready by the 18th. Well, that's what I did and this is what I came up with. It's, uh, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And this is the final touch. A custom car with a custom card for a customer. This particular vehicle was built for Aaron Murphy out there in beautiful sunny California and this car will be on its way to his house here very very soon. Uh, thank you Aaron for the purchase of this. All the cars I do that are customs and like that everything if you've got a question about something whether you want to purchase something just give me a holler and let me know. Everything I do here is for sale. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your efforts. Thank you so much. From Diecast Graveyard, this is Paul. We got a lot more videos coming out in the very near future, and I do appreciate you being a subscriber. We're almost to a thousand subscribers, guys, and we got a bunch of giveaways for when we hit that magic mark. Thank you so much, and please check out the other builders' tow trucks, and I'll see you soon on Diecast Graveyard. Have a great day.